This video is sponsored by The Final Cut King. For high quality and professional tutorials on popular software such as Premiere Pro CS6, Final Cut Pro 10, Cinema 4D and Motion, visit FinalCutKing.net. Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecotman12.blogspot.com and welcome to my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, a big thank you must go to Vodafone for sending me this hands over to review and you can pick this up on contract from Vodafone.co.uk and it comes on various deals on contract. Now, let's get down to the specifications of the Galaxy S4 first. Now you've got a very nice 5 inch screen on the front, running at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 so yes, this is a full 1080p display, 1.9 GHz quad core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and it's also got a 13 megapixel camera on the back, which is also capable of capturing 1080p video. And you've also on the front got a 2 megapixel front facing camera, which is also capable of capturing 1080p video. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my final verdict. So let's start off with the good, and that is the screen. Now you can see, very nice screen, and I really like this effect that, that it has with the screen as well. You can see where I do this, it's got this kind of, sort of lens flare kind of effect. And I thought this went very well with the Spider-Man wallpaper, and as you can see, it's picking up, much like the S Pen, it's picking up my uh, sort of fit, touches without me actually touching the screen, as you can see. So, I really do like that it's done that. It's done that. Nothing that you're really going to be using, but uh, it's nice that it's just on there, that they've sort of implemented that. And it does work really quite nicely. So this is the home screen that we're actually in, and as you can see, very, very smooth at swiping between screens, and that leads us nicely on to performance. Performance on this phone is very, very good, and I've also been testing this on games as well. And with gaming, this is a very, very pleasant experience. It's one of the fastest phones to play games. You can see on your screen right now, The Amazing Spider-Man, and for some reason, that game just always has issues with many, many, many mobile phones. In fact, the only one mobile phone I can remember that it actually worked properly on was the Sony Xperia T, and that had a 1.5 GHz dual-core processor. So I really don't understand the Amazing Spider-Man game. Every other game on this works flawlessly and perfectly. The Amazing Spider-Man, I don't know, is just a... Pr I don't know, I think it's a, a bad egg from Gameloft. They must have done a very bad job, actually, encoding that one. And it's actually quite a bit laggy, the game was, as well. So, I'm not too impressed with the performance of uh, The Amazing Spider-Man on this phone. I thought if any phone would be able to run this properly, it would be the Galaxy S4. Now, another thing that I'd like to touch on is photos and video. Now, you know that I've uh, uploaded a video test of both the front and rear facing camera on my channel recently. And the, you can judge for yourself what you think of the video quality. Me, I thought it was very good. Now, let's go into the gallery and show you some photos. So here's one photo which I took outside, and as you can see, if I zoom into the tree, you can see all the detail. There's no, like, missed detail or anything, there's no pixelation, it's so crisp and so clear. As you can see, very, very clear photo, and yeah, it's just a really impressed with that quality photo. Let's move on to another one, and here's another one, this is like in the garden, we took a photo on a very sunny day, and the colours are just absolutely amazing. It's a joy to view back on this screen as well, but the colours really are fantastic. Just look at that. It, it looks so, so colourful. It's like I've actually done a sort of saturation effect to it, which I really haven't. This is like just a photo that was just taken. And I'm really impressed with the colours. So, the photos on the Galaxy S4 are one of the best I've seen on a mobile phone. So, top marks to Samsung for, produ for uh, producing such a wonderful camera on the Galaxy S4. Now, another th thing I want to talk about is Google Chrome. Now, let's, there it is right there. Now, many people know that Google Chrome did seem to be like on its sort of like beta stages in the way it worked, as there was quite a lot of lag when you were pinching to zooming and doing various other tasks when it came to web browsing. Now, let me just go into my website and I'll show you that they've, seems like uh, Google have either res have resolved that. Either they've resolved it or the Galaxy S4 just seems to be doing much better in this respect at running Google Chrome. Let's just go all to the web version. And there you go, it's loaded. Now I'm going to go into landscape, and as you can see, very, very smooth when I'm scrolling. And now I'm going to pinch in. This is where people notice a lot of like a delays or lags. Do you see that? That is a very, very smooth pinch to zoom. There's no delay or no lag. So... 
fantastic that it's like really, really smooth on Google Chrome. Now, another thing I'd like to talk about is Walking Mate, as you can see over there. This tells you how much steps you've done in a day, and today I haven't done much steps, but uh, I did try going to the, getting to the goal of 10,000 steps, and uh, very easy to do for me because I, I go out and about a lot, although today I've been more like inside a lot more. But uh, yeah, I really do like Walking Mate. It sort of helps, it's sort of like a helps sort of like uh, get a sort of get up to a sort of daily routine and uh, 10,000 steps is not as quick as you might think just so you know so yeah I really do like that you can press play and then you can stop it you can reset it so I really do like this and as you can see that uh, little circle thing right there goes round that green outline as you can see above uh, the head of that uh, character right there it'll go all the way around and then it'll fill up uh, as you get closer to the 10,000 mark now, what's something I did not like very much was Food Tracker. This was very boring, and just like you got to put input all the information manually. If it was more automatic, I would have liked it better. But as it stands, it's more manual, and therefore I feel like uh, I'm not bothered to constantly keep putting information in because some results that I have to, that I uh, search for don't come up. And another thing I like to talk about is battery life. Battery life on the Galaxy S4 has been absolutely fantastic. With low use, I'm getting two days. Two days with low use. There's no issue at all getting the battery life. I'm uh, trying to get uh, like a full day out of this. And if I'm using with this with medium use, I'd get a, f a day and a half. Heavy use, I'd get a day to a day and a half. And if I use this as my full-time media device, as many of you guys know, I love watching media on this and stuff, you'd get five to six hours. So the battery life on this mobile phone really is fantastic. I really do love the battery life, and there was no issues at all when I was trying to get a whole day out of this. So props to Samsung again for producing such a great battery inside here. And also, call quality from the earpiece above over there and the microphone at the bottom, absolutely stellar. No problems at all. I thought that the incoming call quality, however, was a little, a tad bit like on the grainy side. But apart from that, no issues. What, no issues whatsoever when using this as a mobile phone. And last thing I like to cover, or one last good thing, is the speaker. The speaker on this mobile phone is fantastic. I remember the Galaxy S3. I wasn't too blown away with the speaker. Well, this is such a tiny speaker and looks like it's exactly the same design. Yet the sound is very loud and it's very very clear. And watching HD video content on this mobile phone is also an absolute treat. And uh, yeah, for anyone who's like really wanted to watch a lot of media on their mobile, on their mobile phone, the Galaxy S4 is definitely one to consider. I'd say it's definitely up there with being one of the best for uh, media consumption. Now let's get into the bad points. One of the bad points, if I go into the settings menu, you can see all the settings are categorized. So if I scroll, you barely get much. Uh, space to scroll right here because it's categorized it, so connections are here, my device is here, then accounts are here, and then more is right over there. One thing I just don't like is it's been much harder for me to actually go around finding things. I like it when everything was more all like in one page. Here I'm like, okay, I'm looking for, say, security, for example, trying to uh, put us like a sort of lock screen or like a lock when I wake my phone from sleep mode. What I was trying to do was uh, find a way to put a password on it. So I went into security. In security, it wouldn't let me do anything. So I was like, "Where on earth is the sort of like uh, way to actually get your you get a password onto this?" I found out it's in lock screen. Yeah, not very good. It's called screen security. So shouldn't there have been a screen a screen security kind of thing in the security sort of section right here? So yeah, that's one thing I really did not like. Another thing I didn't like was there's lag in the operating system. Now this is uh, something that we used to notice when HTC used to do a lot of make HTC Sense very heavy. Well, TouchWiz is very heavy and it is quite noticeable. They're trying to do more things and I don't blame Samsung for doing that, but it is coming at the expense of performance here. Now, that doesn't mean that it's a deal breaker, not by no means is it a deal breaker. It's more of a nitpick, but there are times where it does do some lags, and I thought we were past that in the Galaxy S2 and 3, but it seems like the 4 sort of brought it back. And another, th last, my last final thing, problem with this mobile phone, is the gimmicky features. There's a lot of gimmicky features like this can sort like if you the camera on the front and the sensors can detect your eyesight, and if you'll if you turn your head if you turn your head up and down you'll, you'll be able to scroll through a web page up and down, 
and if you also do stuff like this you can start uh, swiping between your photos and various other things it's just unnecessary who's going to be doing this to swipe up and down on a web on a website you're just going to use your fingers much easier now this feature about the gimmicky features is a very bad one when you actually stare at a video the camera will detect your eyesight and if you look away the video will pause now that I, th I first thought was an alright feature I thought okay it could be uh, e good for some people to use but no it is very very bad depending on your lighting conditions if you're just watching the video it'll just start pause it just start pausing itself randomly first I thought there was something wrong and then I just I just remembered I got that option that setting on so I really did hate that so I disabled that as soon as I could so I would ha really say that is the worst of the gimmicky features that Samsung have put onto this mobile phone and let me just say if I if you see I pull down the notification bar you have quick toggles at the side press this button that brings you a full list of uh, toggles and notifications now if I use two fingers I can bring these all down at once. Now this is what something has been implemented in Google Android version 4.2 and many mobile phone uh, sort of overlays sort of limit you from doing that and they restrict you from doing that. Samsung however have not restricted you so I really like the fact that they haven't restricted you at doing this because I really did love this feature on stock Android and it's just absolutely fantastic you get all of the sort of like uh, settings and options on quick toggles that you'll need to pretty much control everything on the phone. So, I really do love this mobile phone. The Galaxy S4 is a fantastic handset. And if you're on the f on the market looking for a high-end smartphone, then I could highly recommend that you should pick this one up. There's me only very few nitpicks I have about this mobile phone, and I really can't like not recommend this phone to anyone except if they are more into iPhones or Windows phone, but or say the BlackBerry operating system. But if you're looking for a great Android smartphone, then I can highly recommend the Samsung Galaxy S4. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecom12.blogspot.com. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next video.